FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. And uh, I believe we have our good friend Joe DiNapoli will be standing by here in just a little bit. We'll have him on. Uh, we want to talk about the markets. Uh, I posted the chart here this morning of the gold market, folks. Uh, if you remember, we were looking for a high up there at around 1890. Uh, and I want you to know, you can see once we, we broke $17. Remember, the harmonic number in gold is 34 and by golly, one half of 34.17, you can see the, the big move today. Once we went above $1,900, folks, there was no resistance there at all. The last trade was 1940. You'll notice that we also had another $16 correction from 1932 uh, early this morning all the way down to 1917. So that's telling you this market is really moving. Silver is also moving. These were big ABCDs that completed down there at 1832 in the excuse me 1824 in the gold and $20.80 uh, uh, in the silver and silver's now quite a bit uh, higher than that we've had a bifurcated market as basil would say we got the dow jones is still up on the day but the others are uh, weakening just a little bit but it's still quite early in the day we've had news from the banking sector that everything looks good over there which is different than what Mohammed el arian was talking about today on bloomberg that for the first time in a long time he was scared and actually it, it actually startled the uh, announcer there because of the way that he reacted he was literally scared you could see it in his eyes why i don't know he thinks it's related to the bond market but you know that's neither here nor there you have to do one thing at a time that's why new listening to the news and watching the news is so difficult if you look at the price charts if there's more buyers prices are going up if there's more sellers prices are going down you know other than that that makes it relatively easy to look at, I would think. So we're going to see if that works out today. We did take out yesterday's low in the S&P uh, by just a little bit and also in the NASDAQ a little bit. The Dow never even came close, but it's still early in the day. A lot of things happening. So what we're going to do now is in just a few minutes, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, we hope we'll have our good friend Joe DiNapoli on the line here. And he can talk to us about some of these things he's looking at. We'll be right back, folks. <clears throat> Everything.